Hello, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing my top 10 favorite one and done eyeshadows. So I do this video every, maybe once a year or so, just because I love finding quick and easy one and done eyeshadows that are just absolutely perfect to pop on and get out the door. I will always be a huge eyeshadow fan, but sometimes I do want something just a little bit more quick and easy. So I do have a mix of powder shadows, I have a shadow stick, and I do have some cream shadows. If you are like me and you do struggle with oily eyelids, stay tuned until the end when we talk about those cream shadows because the ones that I've pulled are the best of the best and will not budge on oily lids. So let's just hop right into it. So first up is from Ulta Beauty and these are the Lustrous Foil Eyeshadows. So I initially purchased Silver Leaf and I love this formula so much that I purchased Rose Gold Leaf. These are beautiful. These are heavily foiled single shadows and these are going to pack so much shine and sparkle to the lids. Now like I said, these are foiled so they definitely can enhance texture so if that is something that you really do not like in an eyeshadow, you may not love these. One thing I've learned about these foiled formulas is if you pick them up on a finger and then you kind of warm it up between your fingers, you will break up a lot of that foil flake and it will just end up giving you this super high shine effect without all of the extra texture. So that is one way you can work with foiled shadows to avoid some of that extra texture if that's something you're worried about but you want that high shine. I love these so much. These are so beautiful. Like I said, these are so, so high shine but they are just beautiful. You can put something in the crease, a bronzer or something like that and then throw one of these on top and it's beautiful. And keeping in line with incredible affordable formulas, I did pull the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. So I have about five of these, but the color I've pulled today is Ritz. And this applies to all of the Super Shocks. I absolutely love them. I think they have the most interesting sort of formula. They feel wet and creamy to the touch, but they apply and blend like a powder shadow, but they give so much sparkle and shine to the lids. They're just so beautiful. They are some of the most sparkly formulas that I have in my collection, and I think they're gorgeous. I will say these will dry out though, so you wanna make sure to really put that cap back on as tight as possible to try and preserve the shadows as long as you can, because like I said, they will dry up. But the shade Ritz is just one of my favorites. I've heard a lot of people say it is like a dupe for Space Cowboy from Urban Decay. And color-wise, I would say that's pretty accurate. I do think Ritz has a little bit more of a base to it than Space Cowboy. And I also think Ritz is more sparkly. The Urban Decay is beautiful, but I do prefer the Super Shocks for their creaminess. So... I absolutely recommend the ColourPop Super Shocks. Like I said, they are super affordable. They're so easy to work with and blend and they look stunning on the lids. And in addition to their already very affordable price point, ColourPop does sometimes do sales, typically around Black Friday where it's Super Shock Shadows for $2 you're not gonna match that anywhere. So I do recommend these. A similar formula to the ColourPop Super Shocks I have is from Ulta Beauty, and this is their Bouncy Eyeshadows. I have the shade Champagne Sorbet. This is a lot like Ritz, let me tell you. It is very smooth and creamy, and it does have that bouncy kind of consistency, which is of course where the name comes from. And it's also a very similar shade to Ritz, if I'm being honest. These are a little bit less creamy than the Super Shocks, but they give a very, very similar effect to the lids, and they're just stunning. Again, very sparkly and shiny. They have a really interesting texture, but they're just so beautiful on the lids, and they're just so easy to work with. And again, super, super affordable, so I don't think you can go wrong with these bouncy eyeshadows from Ulta. Going to the exact other end of the spectrum, in terms of price point, I have from Hourglass their Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadows. I have the shade Ray, which once again is a very similar shade to the Ulta and the ColourPop shades I pulled, but these are so 
beautiful. They are very pricey for a single shadow. They do have this little plastic piece in here, which I do recommend keeping because it does help preserve the life of the shadow. But these are just so beautiful and reflective and so sparkly, and they just give the most beautiful shine to the lids. Again, I love a good sparkle. So this shade is really, really beautiful as well, but overall this formula is fantastic from Hourglass. I know they released some actual powder shadows a couple years ago, and I just was not interested in those, but these are are still loved by so many and for good reason. These are fantastic. Aside from the Ulta foil shadows, probably the very most sparkly shadow I want to mention is from Give Beauty and this is the Musty and Sparkle Multi-Dimensional Eye Pigment. I have the shade Twinkle. I think this is so pretty. So this is a loose pigment so do keep that in mind. This is one that you can wear on its own. You can of course put a base over your lids with some matte shadows and then pop this on top. You can use some shimmer shadows and pop this on top for extra emphasis. This really doesn't have much of a base shade to it, but when put on top of other things, it gives the most stunning sparkle. But you could also just put this on the lids all on its own and just have that really beautiful sheen. That is also so pretty with these. These are one that I do tend to pair with other things, but I do think these are fantastic. They will give you a little bit of fallout because they are a pressed pigment, but if you can work with that, these are just such a beautiful, beautiful formula. A recent favorite single shadow is actually from Dior. So I recently picked up their Dior Show Monocolor High Color Eyeshadow in Beige Mitza. I love this. This is my absolute favorite everyday go-to single shadow. I do often pair this with some mattes in the crease. I do have a matte shade and a Sigma palette that I love to pair this with. I have paired it with my bronzers. I have paired it with mattes from other palettes. And no matter what I pair it with, this just looks fantastic. I've also just worn this on its own, put it all over the lid and blend it around the edges and I thought it looked fantastic. I love this so much. This is probably one of my absolute favorites. Outside in the sunlight, it's so incredibly sparkly, but out of direct sunlight indoors, it is still sparkly, but it's subtle enough to be perfect for in the office or a work environment. It's just a fantastic, fantastic formula. It has the perfect amount of pigment to it. They're so easy to apply. And while I do think these are insanely, insanely expensive, I think if it's one like this where I will literally reach for it every single day, I think it's worth it. I wouldn't purchase one of these in one of their brighter colors because that's not something I'm going to get enough use out of. I'm not going to reach for it every single day and I'm just not going to use it and love it as much as I should whereas this something that I will reach for every day. I think it's worth the splurge. Moving into the eyeshadow stick that I mentioned and I'm not a huge eyeshadow stick girl. I don't know what it is. One of the best ones I've discovered is from Rare Beauty and I've had this one for several months at this point. I've played with it so much. This one is in the shade Well Being, and this is like a light baby pink, which is like my other neutral. If it's not a brown or beige or taupe neutral, I'm going for a light pink. This is just so pretty. This has just the right amount of sheen to it while also being just incredibly wearable. Much like I said with the Dior, this one does have sparkle to it and it has a beautiful sheen on the lids, but it's not overpowering so that it still feels perfectly appropriate for work or anything like that. I think this is fantastic to draw all over the lids, maybe blend it with a finger, and then maybe blend the edges if you want to. I just think it's wonderful. You can, of course, put a powder shadow, say, in the crease for a little bit of dimension and shaping, and then do this. It also works beautifully for that. Like I've said, I do have oily eyelids, so it is tricky for me when I go in with these more cream shadows because they're just gonna crease and they're gonna essentially melt off my face because my eyelids will just eat them. And I'm used to that. So when I do find cream shadows that don't do that, I am always incredibly impressed. And this is one of those formulas, it never ever disappoints me. Okay, three fantastic cream formulas. The first one is from Merit and this is their solo shadow. I have the shade Mid-Century. This is a bit of a deeper brown. I think this is beautiful, and this is one that it does look a little bit deeper in the pan than it really is, but once you put it on the lids and you blend it out, 
it shears out so quickly and easily. It's so blendable. It's a very impressive formula. You can build it up a little bit, but like I said, it's just so incredibly easy to blend and shape and get everywhere you want on the lids. It doesn't dry down too quickly. These are a really great formula. I don't think they play the best if you start adding other cream shadows on top. So that's just something to note. These are really best to just be used as a one and done. However, I do think if you have oily lids, these are better if you do set a primer down first and then blend this over top and then they will last. Otherwise, you definitely will get a little bit of fading with these as the day goes on. It's not going to be as aggressive as a lot of other cream shadows, but you're definitely going to notice them fading. Otherwise, these are a really, really nice cream formula. They look so lovely. They're so easy to blend. They sheer out beautifully. So if you get a little bit too much, don't panic. You will be able to blend it. And I do think they are a lovely formula. Now, moving into two cream formulas that I love so much. These are actually more like liquid shadows, but they are just so fantastic. They never ever move or budge or crease or do anything weird on my oily lids. And I am talking when I don't prime them. Like I can literally just put these shadows on my eyes, blend around the edges and go about my day and these will look fantastic. And that is absolutely unheard of for oily eyelids. So the first formula I have to mention is one that I have talked about so many times. I've mentioned them so much, but these are the Give Beauty Painted Up Longwear Mousse Eyeshadows. So the shade Midriff is the one I've spoken about the most because this is just a gorgeous taupe shade all over the lids. And then I also have the shade Top Knot, which is like a really shimmery, sparkly gold. I do prefer midriff. I just like the more neutral tone of midriff, whereas Top Knot is definitely leaning into that gold a little bit. I've said this so many times. I put these on. I don't prime my lids. I just put them on, get them blended out, go about the rest of my day, and they will still be there at the end of the day. They'll still look fantastic. They'll, there'll be no creasing, no fading, nothing. These will just look so fantastic all day long. These are just so impressive to me. I never hear anybody mention these, which I think is really strange because I think they're such a standout product from Give Beauty. I will bring these on vacation because they're so easy to work with. I love them for hot days if I'm going to be outside. I love them for everything. These are just, again, these are such a fantastic formula. The only thing about these that's important to understand is that you do get about 20 to 30 seconds to get these on and blended and then you really can't build them or you're not going to like them. So you want to do one eye at a time and you want to work fairly quickly, but if you do and you get them in place, you will be so happy. But another formula I discovered at least within the last year, I want to say the last maybe six months, is from Lancome. And these are their Edol Tint Liquid Eyeshadows. I have the shade 02, and this formula is fantastic. So this one is obviously a little bit more pricey as it's from Lancome. This has a really nice little doe foot. It is like a flat paddle doe foot. It's perfect for getting in around the contours of the eye. It is a bit thinner than the Give Beauty. The Give Beauty is really more like a mousse. This one's really more like a liquid, but same sort of situation. You'll wanna put it on the lids. You'll wanna blend around the edges. You have a little bit more leeway than you get with the Give Beauty, but this is another one that once it dries down, you really don't want to try to build it up because you're not going to like the effect. It will get a little bit chunky. So I do recommend also doing one eye at a time with these, but if you do, you will not be sorry. These are another one that I can pop on without having an eye primer down, blend around the edges, go about my day. At the end of the night, as I'm washing my face for bed, it's still on, it's still in place, and it still looks so good. So I just think these are absolutely fantastic. Very, very underrated from Lancome. So I highly, highly recommend these as well. But that is it. These are my absolute favorite one and done eyeshadows that I have tested, I have tried, I have put through many different conditions and I love them all so much. I will say there are some formulas that I am still curious to try out. In particular, I know Victoria Beckham has a nice formula that I'm dying to try out. I've heard it's a nice formula. I was curious about the Chanel singles, but I don't think I'm going to take that leap yet, but the Victoria Beckham is probably going to get me at some point this year, I think. So 
that is it for me today. Let me know down below what are your favorite one and done shadows. Are there any formulas that you think I need to try? Let me know all of your thoughts down below. I love hearing from you guys so, so much. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. I do upload new videos every single week. Thank you again so very much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!